Hey guys, in this video we are going to test the best backpacking stove you can buy right now. I made this checklist based on my personal opinions and study time, and I've listed them based on the security and pricing features I've included for options for each type of consumer. So you can easily verify this backpacking stove for yourself or your family. We always try to provide customers with informative ideas so that they can easily verify any product. If you would like more information and would like to set an updated price on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Our first choice. Just when we thought that there wasn't much room left for innovation with small canister stoves, the Soto Windmaster came along. Small canister stoves are supposed to be light and easy to use, and this one is. The Piezo igniter works almost every time, not to be assumed with all auto igniters, and the four flex pot supports are really generous. The two litre pots do not threaten this stove's stability. What makes the Windmaster the stove to copy is its wind resistance. In an 8 to 10 miles per hour breeze, this thing not only stays lit, but it also boils water. We had a few small quibbles with this stove. It wasn't as fast to boil as some of the competition. More importantly, it is not as fuel efficient by a small margin. We were also challenged to pack the burner and the pot supports into our smaller cookware with a fuel can in there. That being said, we found that a small price to pay for the pot supports. For most backpackers, most of the time, we think this is the best stove out there. At number two, we didn't expect much from the BRS 3000T given its super low price. We also didn't realize how small it would be. This thing is tiny. It will fit comfortably in any ultralight hiker's 375 milliliter titanium cup. Despite the diminutive size, this stove sports a wire control valve that's easy to use and it provided nice flame control at the lower end. We were also pleased with the sturdy feel of the pot supports. They held a 1.5 litre aluminium pot with a litre of water in it with no problems. A number of consumer reviews mention problems with those supports melting. We have yet to experience those issues, but quality control sometimes falls by the wayside when a product is remarkably inexpensive. Despite the good flame control when turned down, the burner head of the BRS is tiny, making it easy to scorch some foods if you get lazy with the stirring. This stove also lacks a piezo igniter. For ultralight solo weekend or long weekend backpacking trips, this little stove saves weight and cash. At number three, the Jetboil Minimo is the top performing integrated canister stove from the company that invented the category. Jetboil stoves have always had a confidence-inspiring burner head and pot detachment, and that's true here. In the past, piezo electric lighters on the stoves were a known failure point. Our testers used this igniter hundreds of times with no issues. The big advancement over previous models is the burner head. The Minimo scored well in boil times and fuel efficiency. Amongst integrated canister stoves, it's the best at simmering. Add this to the unique short and squat pot shape and boil, you can consider cooking real food. The Minimo stays lit and boils water at wind speeds that would have most backpackers hiding in their tents. However, our testers know from experience that gustier winds will blow the stove out. After they're on, the MSR reactor and wind burner stay on regardless of wind speed. The latest version of the Jetboil Flash with its color-changing head indicator and less messy pour is giving the Minimo a run for its money. Nevertheless, for backpackers dreaming about alpine or big wall ascents and have practiced keeping the stove out of the wind, we think the Minimo is an excellent choice. At number four, the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe is a top-of-the-line small canister stove. Its excellent simmering capabilities and low weight open up possibilities for real cooking while carrying a light pack. It's quite fuel efficient when kept out of the wind and can even boil water relatively quickly in the wind. 
a pretty unique trait in a small canister stove. We are happy that MSR finally put a piezo igniter on this stove, but it fell behind the competition a bit because the igniter is unreliable and the pot supports are only average. Nevertheless, we think this is a great backpacking stove. It's neck and neck with our Editor's Choice winner, which edges it out due to being a nicer experience to use with more stability and a reliable auto-igniter, plus being a little cheaper. The Pocket Rocket, however, packs up smaller. At number 5, a tried and true basic model, the Jetboil Flash has all you need to boil water fast. It's cheaper than several other integrated canister stoves and highly efficient when wind isn't a factor. We like the color-changing heat indicator on its cozy that lets you know the water is ready before it boils over. Key features include a 1-liter insulated pot, piezoelectric ignition, water temperature indicator, and a secure connection between burner and pot. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a nice day.